Hello viewers, I'm SB and welcome back to Wolfenstein 2 The New Colossus. Looks like we're going back down to the bowels of the sub. Good evening, Captain Blaskovitz. Yeah, hi. Is it evening? How would I even know? Grace, you read? Going fishing for that nuclear warhead now. Got it. Keep me posted. Yeah, I never really thought about it before, but it does kind of feel like he should at least have a watch, doesn't it? So, I assume we're just headed back down... Oh, there's a note here. Uh, okay. I do not know what that says. Alright, I guess let's head on down. Yeah, the section's flooded. There sure were a lot of, uh, a lot of breaches. So it's going to be a little bit different from last time we were down here. Uh, are these... It looks like these are probably not breakable, because there's nowhere below them to go. Okay, hold on. Let's catch the ladder. Let's not just fall directly. Yes, Although, I suppose... The damp heat. The maddening uh, edge. How did you endure it so gracefully? It's fitted so tight I struggle to breathe. Get inside, Caroline. You left a vacuum too great to fill. I was gonna say, I guess it doesn't matter how long I fall, because the suit seems to handle it. Alright, I assume I have to breathe. This is maybe gonna suck. Okay, there is air in here. I don't know if this is the right gun for this situation. Although, again, I don't... I wouldn't expect to encounter any trouble, but why would they make me do it if I couldn't encounter trouble? Alright, well, I guess my plan is to head down through there. Yeah, can't get back up. But your suit and the cause is all that keeps me upright. And Anya, her voice, her glory, it buckles me. This is not where I wanted to be. So yeah, obviously, uh, Blaskovitz is, uh, having some, some trouble processing everything that he's been through. Some trouble with the idea of going on, and some trouble with the idea of not being able to go on. Huh. What do you think that means? Uh, yeah, that kind of looks like that one hatch that we destroyed. Okay. It's worth a shot. Okay, section F revisited. This map is not super helpful. Oh, I have 13 Enigma codes. I should probably find the code machine. There's supposed to be one on the, the sub, right? Okay, well, the areas are not usually terribly non-linear, so I suppose let's just go. Oh, I should back up. Okay. So yeah, apparently I didn't completely clear the place out. Something about this lighting is making me kind of nervous. Blaskowitz, got a heads up for you. Looking at the engineering map, there seems to be a defense system guarding the nuclear warhead stockpile. I count one, three, four, five, hibernation sarcophagi in the vicinity. Uh, be ready for anything. Grace out. Yeah, it would be cool if I knew that number. Uh, hibernation sarcophagi are bad news. And you're going to see why in just a moment here. I just yeah, I just have a feeling. I'm definitely thinking can't see shit. Need some light in here. 
I'm definitely thinking with what we're finding out now that the uh, the laser craft work is the appropriate weapon to have on hand. Thank you. Yep. Okay. I mean, not to say that these guys aren't dangerous, but I do sort of feel like I have it under control. Are we good or? Let's grab up all this armor. I don't think I want to bother carrying around one of their heavy laser cannons, because obviously we have our own uh, we have our own laser weaponry, and it is totally good enough to get the job done. Definitely need to keep it charged, though, and I am not at all sad about the ammo capacity upgrade. It's definitely making me feel more secure. Okay. There you go. I'm feeling relatively tough. Let's let's get a move on here. It makes me uncomfortable that uh, nobody bothered to come and check the status of the warheads after we found out that they exist. Like I know basically anything important on the ship has to get done by me personally, but uh, this is something that I think is is maybe worth devoting some personnel to. Okay, how the hell do I actually get out of this room? That upper floor doesn't really go anywhere. My current objective is just find a nuclear warhead. Let's go back up to the top level. Do I need to just point my cursor at one? Because, like, these are... Are these nukes? I have no idea. Here's a problem. I don't know what a nuclear warhead looks like. Honestly, I... One could reach over and bite me and I wouldn't... I wouldn't have any idea. Wait, how do you get up into that room over there? There's this room on the other side of the glass here. It looks like you come at it from below. It's right on the other side of that bulkhead. If you still copy, this is the conclusion I've reached. Whatever happens, ah. she can't know she'll be rearing our babies alone. It's my burden to bear. Until it's hers. Part of me wants to say that uh, Blaskowitz is given up too easily, but I suppose, you know, at a certain point you do have to accept that you're going to die. It's not something we spend a lot of time talking about in video games, but uh, in general. But you know what? The list of things that we do spend time talking about in video games is a little bit too low, frankly. Okay. This is a pretty good weapon, too. This is the first time I've gotten to use one of the rocket launchers. Alright, we're done with this thing, probably. Well, except that I might actually need it to get out. Yeah, alright. The thing about a rocket launcher is that it, uh, potentially has a lot of different uses. Not this, it turns out.
Maybe I shouldn't be firing, uh, firing explosive weapons so indiscriminately in an area where I'm currently searching for nuclear weapons. Here we go. Huh, really, nothing else in here. So here's what I'll do. Keep away from her. Let nothing show, Caroline. This dying is making me a liar. We should, uh, actually, once I feel confident the coast is clear here, we should actually take another look at our perks real quick. Because there might be behaviors that I should, uh, I should be focusing on. Oh, hey, how you doing? Seems like I blew one of his arms off? Wow. We are not alone in here. Music's kind of a spoiler. It's a gentle spoiler. Although now it's it seems uncertain. It's backing off a little bit. It's like, I don't know. I don't know. Are there more enemies? Maybe not. Okay. Oh! Well, they're getting a little smarter. Oh! Alright. I need to borrow your gun because mine is running out of the juice. Unless we actually are alone this time? Hard to know. Kind of sounds like something's moving around, but it could just be all this machinery that I'm hearing. Okay, now I think we're... Oh, there's still a guy in this one. No, wait, I was just seeing a reflection. I thought those red lights were eyes. Alright, I think maybe we actually are good. Wow, this is, uh... Yeah. This is a stockpile. Grace, I found the nuclear warhead. Tip top. Bring it to the old man. Said was it? I briefed him on the particulars. Careful, Trimshin, it's not the Tots cam. It, you, you okay? Well, let me look at you. A little pale. You nausea? Any uh, fever? I'm fine. Never better. Never better. Well, I need to take care of this. You need to rest. I'll sleep when I'm dead. Well, do me a favor. Before you die, go to Grace. She's at the helm. You know, Caroline's old room. So we're just, just going to leave that there. He's not even paying attention to it. We do not run the tightest ship ever. I suppose, in a certain way, I, it's kind of forgivable because we're out in the middle of the ocean and, like, who could possibly interfere? Except that it has already been the case that we somehow missed, like, a hundred guys living on the ship with us for five months. I'm fascinated by the specimen vat Carolyn sees at General Becker's base in Paris. It seems they were working on a new type of super soldier bred entirely for combat. It has distinct organic properties, but seems to be much stronger and durable. Biological, yet manufactured. This is not a grown person with altered physique, but something else entirely. I recognize the liquid preserving the body, based on very old Da'ihud technology. I remember experimenting with something similar, but cruder as a child, for preserving frogs and big beetles. 
it has completely cancelled the decomposition progress of Juno's body in the other vat we placed in the storage room, holding it in a suspended state. Carolyn wants me to leave her alone. I shall do as she asks, of course. I see no hope, however. The girl's brain dead. Okay, well, that answers that, then. Now we know who's floating in that vat. Greetings. Sometimes I think of Cosmo, my dog in Italy. I miss Cosmo. I miss my home. At? Maybe he's on pipe inspection duty. Blaskovic. Okay. Signore. William? What? I feel like you've been avoiding me. What's wrong? Talk to me. Look at me, Anya. I'm the damn tin man. How am I gonna get close to you? I don't care. We'll figure something out. We always do. Huh? Hey, why, why won't you at least try? Because I'm fucking dying. That didn't last long. The longer we keep pretending it won't happen, the harder it's gonna be. I'll be in the ground a week from now. You don't know that! What, you can see the future now? Don't act like you know things you can't possibly know! Toilet works. Sashi, are you still here? You need to haul ass back to mission control and get all your ducks in a row. Mm -hmm. Now the Haas 2 helicopter is spinning up in the hangar, and it'll get you as far as Galveston, but from there, baby, you're gonna have to improvise. Dynamite, boss. Blaskowitz. Head on up to the hangar and make sure that Haas won his mission ready, all right? I'll be in there for you. Not rearing up our kids. That's too much to bear. Then don't give up, William. Because I will never, ever give up on you. No matter what. Come with me to the showers. Hmm? We'll take this thing off. I'll clean you up. You smell. I'll take it off. I'm afraid I'll fall apart. Pieces won't fit back together again. I just gotta keep going. For as long as I can. Caroline, I fucked up and told her. Turns out, the hurt I tried to spare was mine, not hers. Yeah, hi, Irina. You maybe want to, like, uh, go mind your own business somewhere? No, that's okay, fine, that's cool. So, yeah, like I, I've mentioned a couple of times, I think Hacker Central. Let's go have a look. I think the, the game is a little heavy handed. You know, it, uh, it sometimes. How you doing? Uh, hey. It's not subtle, right? It never even tries to be subtle. But to be perfectly honest, I think, and maybe this is just because, maybe this is just me saying it's clearing a low bar, but I think it really does like the metaphor for what the what the powered armor represents is kind of ham-handed. But I feel like it's a lot more than a lot of games bother to try, right? I don't know. I. I really like this game. I really like both of these games. Anyway, let's, uh, I guess go to the hangar. I don't actually know how to get to the hangar. Once again, I don't have any idea where we're going on this ship that supposedly is my home. In my defense, I've been unconscious basically the whole time we've been here. Objective thingy help. Oh no, I would, I'd have to take the lift, right? 
Or, no, we're up on the top level now. Yeah, here we go. I've been entombed. We're safe, Barbara. That's what matters. Don't you worry. It reminds me of when the bomb fell. Being deep underground, trapped, feeling Mama's hand. Well, holding on to it. Yeah, but on the upside, there's no radiation, no Nazis, hidden from the world. And we're safer than we've been in like forever. I know, I'm being irrational, Huey, but I can't control it. The feeling of being suffocated. It feels like I can feel the dust clogging up my throat. The heat from the first wave and the screams. The fucking screams, man. Hey, come on, girl. Just breathe. Try to breathe. Could you not smoke in here? Okay. We all gotta live okay. in this air. Gotta get used to this. Right. I can't remember. Let's see if this bird is ready to fly. When the was it? To. When was it that we all sort of like of accepted the the dangers and stuff of smoking? Smoking was thought to be first kind of good for you, and then second, at least okay for you for quite a long time, wasn't it? Good to see you, Captain. Nothing. Okay. Ça va bien, Captain Boy, Moscovitz? we've really uh, we've really put our own flavor on these things, haven't we? Chopper's fat and sassy. Should let Grace know. Fat and sassy, huh? I mean, maybe that's a thing that people really say about choppers. Hey, B. Hey, listen, if it's just a Don Hertzfeld reference, I'm fine with that, too. So why did they make me run all the way up there just to come back down and talk to Grace? Are some things going to uh, turn out to have changed back down here? Oh, uh, Shimshin. You should really take it easy, Ingele. Yeah, probably. Uh, <clears throat> from here, the helm is... somewhere. Ammo Depot. We should like check in on some people too. Uh, in particular, I'd like to go and see. Uh, I can't remember what her first name is. Sig Sigrid? Sigrun? I'd like to see Engel's daughter. I don't know where she would be. Where are her quarters? my map actually like useful uh, legend max bomb day uh, am I only seeing these ones because this is the floor we're on can I change floors looks like the answer is no that seems strange so there's no way to change floors Oh, uh, also, the Enigma Machine. Is that on the list here? Actually, Hacker Central, right? That makes sense. Yep. No kidding. Uh, well, this is just a typewriter. Peace. You got a nice boat, man. Thanks. You don't need to look at the screen at all while you're doing that, or...? Listen, I'm not going to try to tell you your business. What's up, Hattie? These fucking radiation scars on my belly. It's like a motherfucker lately. Takes all my willpower not to scratch. Well, they got this amazing scientist here. Set, I think it was. Go see if he got a soothing ointment or something. I don't know, man. Don't want to bother him with a fucking itch. Again, and Set Roth is not a doctor. Don't let him tell you that he is a doctor. story about he and his daddy went looking for space aliens in the desert and ended up nearly dying of thirst and had to be hospitalized because of all the blisters. 
<laughs> Man, I tried so hard not to laugh. I miss New York sometimes. May have been a radioactive hellhole infested with Nazi pigs. But it was home, you know? At least it's safer here, sister. Every day we stand alive is a victory, you dig? <laughs> no doubt, no doubt. I mean, it's Hello? sort of safer here. To be perfectly honest, I don't know. I don't know what you would have to pay me to get on a submarine of any kind in yeah. the first place. All right. Well, this is clearly not where the Enigma machine is. Let's have a look around the helm. We haven't really explored this uh, this room. There could be all kinds of stuff in here. It's also possible that we haven't unlocked the code breaking machine yet. Uh, what's this? Sigrun's diary. June 1956. Dear Diary, I've been crying all night. Mother embarrassed me terribly today, and only two days from my 15th birthday. So, wait a second. Hold on, this is her diary from, like, a long time ago? But she certainly, she certainly wouldn't have had it with her. We know it was in her room when the soldiers searched it. Hmm. There was a ceremony for the League. I was standing in line with the rest of the girls. Mother was standing next to me like everyone else's mother. This may sound very silly, dear diary, but I had no idea there was a celebrity visiting the ceremony. Then I saw this little man, a very, very small and slouching man, at the end of the line, shaking hands with the girl of the League, and I saw that he was coming towards Mother and me. Mother looked at me and, wizard, and whispered, Sigrun, suck your cheeks in, like this. And then she made a stupid face and sucked her cheeks in. Dear diary, she looked awfully silly indeed. And I said, Why, Mother? Because you are obese. Suck them in. I know how she gets when I disobey her, calling me names, commenting on my weight, which I am honestly struggling with every day. So I tried very, very hard to do what she said. I don't think it was working very well. Anyway, this tiny man, shaking hands, stopped in front of me, looking straight into my eyes, and I looked up and looked into his squinting, strange eyes and realized I was standing before the Fuhrer himself. At first I was mortified. I just looked at him like an idiot. Then I felt my mother kicking my leg very hard, so I threw up my arm in a salute and shouted, Heil Hitler, as, as loud as I could. And then he gave me a strange smile and casually saluted me back. It made me relax a bit. And then he said, A little plump around the cheeks, are we? I thought I was going to start crying. Then he walked over to my to mother, who was looking like she was going to strangle a goose. I've seen that look many, many times. In order for her to have seen that look many, many times and identify it this way, are we to gather that Frau Engel has actually strangled a goose in front of her daughter? Or is this maybe just like a common German phrase that doesn't translate directly very well? The thing is, I totally believe she would just up and strangle a goose. That's actually not even particularly evil relative to the stuff that we know she's done. Because let's be honest, geese are the worst. Heil Hitler, mother said, repeating the procedure. The Fuhrer said, you have a beautiful daughter. Obersturm von Fuhrer Engel. That's probably close. But remember, an unhealthy body is a sign of a weak mind. I suggest you send her to a weight loss clinic before her health degenerates further. Or something like that. And Mother said, Yes, mein Fuhrer, it's just a teenage phase. Yes, yes, he said, immediately losing interest in me and Mother, and continued down the line of girls. Mother looked at me. I tried to suck my cheeks in, but now I started crying quietly. So she slapped me. A quick, sharp slap right across the face. I started bleeding from the nose. Well, that's a good slap. Anyway, that was my day. I think I will listen to some music now before I go to sleep. Sigrun has drawn a great number of hearts and eyes with tears pouring out of them at the end of the journal entry. I can't believe she put up... I mean, I guess people put up with some serious shit from their parents. I certainly did. General Engel destroys American terrorist hideout. 24th June 1961, Washington. An official spokesperson of the Osmerzer announced yesterday that General Engel had successfully bombed a group of wanted terrorists hiding in the Rocky Mountains near Denver. The cowardly terrorists had been on the run for several years after having blown up an American high school which killed 58 innocent children. All terrorists were killed in the incredibly precise bomb attack led by General Engel. In a statement released to the press, General Engel thanked our beloved Fuhrer himself for his eternal wisdom in advising her to probe the area near Denver for leads, and commented that the terrorists were located thanks to some patriotic local civilians 
who understood the value of loyalty to the Reich. It is important that we root out the undesirable elements of our glorious society, so that we may live in peace and aspire toward the greatness that we were destined for, said General Engel in a speech launching her terrorist hunting campaign almost half a year ago today. Someone has drawn a pair of silly goggles, a big mustache, and a pipe on General Engel's face with blue and yellow crayons. Gee, I wonder who. Uh, so this will be the periscope. Well, it turns out we are deep underwater. And honestly, this is kind of freaking me out. I don't like it. Let's not do that again. It doesn't take much. Yeah, just the concept of being like that deep underwater. Mm, no thank you. Something about that is very deeply upsetting to me. Good evening, Captain Blaskowitz. Hey, Septimus. Septimus Stubbins is like a pretty good name. Yeah. I wonder if there are any sailors at all in our Motley Crow sailors. Uh, hold on, let's not wake Grace up just yet. Just have a look around here, see if there's anything worth, you know, borrowing. Carolyn's Journal. After BJ killed General Strasse and freed the prisoners, it crippled the Nazis' research division. Slowed the Nazis' advancement in tech research. If he wakes up, I will keep reminding him that we are forever in gratitude to him. The Nazis are demoralized, humiliated. But it's not enough. More is needed. The Paris mission was a success, in some ways. It was the first step towards building the momentum we need to take on the Nazis globally. I just wish I could find a way to help Juna. The Ausmerzer has come awfully close the last couple of days. Worrying. Must speak to Set about this. Yeah, that should be like a little bit of a pickup for uh, for our hero here. All right, it's time to uh, take the next step here. All set. Helicopter's good to go. Thanks, man. Mm. I think it's time we had a gathering. Uh, Max, what have you done? This is no good. What's going on? Oh shit! Here he comes. What are you sure you're not looking up? For Christ's sake! Where wasn't anyone watching it? Uh, Fergus, everyone is busy. No time for babysitting. Well, lock him up with a pig then. What's the problem? Mentors. Our favorite shirt. Fuck, Max. <laughs> Fergus, it's only a shirt. No, it's not just a fucking shirt. I got this shirt at Kinloss. It's the only one I have. All right, y'all. Drop whatever the fuck you're doing. Because we got some hell to raise. Hey, Englishman. You got nukes on this ship, did you know that? Oh, is that why it only took one of them to level Death's Head's entire fucking compound? How'd you figure that out, old great genius? Oh, so you knew. Yet you only used the one. Explain that glit to me, shit for brains, because you are stupid for real. Oh, fuck's sakes. You can't bloody well just go around dropping bombs on random civilians, you dim-witted bombard. Oh, eat me, cocksucker. I'm not saying we chunk nukes at a bunch of cities all willy-nilly, pencil dick. Do I look like a fucking Nazi to you? No, 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 no. I would say you most resemble a skitterdrukit cunt rag, emitting a heinous honking similar to that of a shite spoon volcano affronting the senses of full force. Well, at least my face isn't a dead ringer for a massive prolapsed rectum. I want to blow a gut just looking at your bleary-eyed jive ass. You know what I'm saying? The reason we haven't used one of the other atom bombs, which would be obvious to anyone who isn't profoundly idiotic, is we need a proper target first. Well, I'm here to say that I got a proper target. And it's a fucking good one, too. So sit your clown ass down, you dumb fuck Scottish motherfucker. She stopped calling him Englishman. Fair enough. Check it out. I sent Specy ahead to his hometown of Roswell, New Mexico, to prep for the mission. Now, there's a tunnel that's accessible through Specy's hideout that will take you straight into the Nazis' top secret underground base where they're experimenting with some sort of wigged out alien technology. Roswell, New Mexico, you said? This is one of ours. What do you mean? One of yours? Yeah. 
wouldn't you like to know? So you can send coded messages back to your pals in Berlin? No. What the fuck is she even doing here? Grace, why? She's good people. She's a fucking Nazi. On your boat. What were you saying, Pops? Hmm? Mm. That secret base you were talking about was constructed by us. Das Jürgen. One of our biggest safe keeps. Yeah, it was located here, underground, near what is now Roswell, New Mexico, but it, I, it existed for a thousand years, long before America got subjugated by the Europeans. It contained technology related to anti-gravity research, something that could easily turn the tide of war. We gave the U.S. government access to it. Unfortunately, it was too late. America fell. The Nazis took hold of our safekeeping. Shit, that's not gonna sit well with Speci. He had his bet on space aliens. He once saw a ship that crashed back there in 47. So what do you want with this place? Know what the Oberkommando is? Hey, that's where the top brass clock tails of the Nazi war machine reside. Yeah, well, the Nazis moved it into your safe keep set. So whatever it is is so important that the whole upper echelon of the Nazi leadership left Berlin and set up shop in New Mexico. And this is why you need this for? What on earth is that? This is a portable nuclear bomb. We're gonna take out the Oberkommando, cripple the Nazi leadership, and destabilize the fucking country and let the people know that the fight is back on. Blazkowicz, load up. I'm sending you to Roswell with this. Roswell is out of helicopter range, so we'll drop you off by the coast near Galveston. From there, you will catch a ride to Roswell. Rendezvous with Super Special at Papa Joe's All-American Diner and plant the nuke inside the very heart of the Ober Commando. Then, you blow that shit the fuck up. Honestly, this is like a pretty okay plan. Oh, except for that. That's a real problem. Okay, let's just not look too closely okay, at quit. anybody. Look for Papa Joe's All-American Diner. Meet Super Special inside the restaurant. Do not break cover. <laughs> yeah, you don't have to tell me twice. So, Americans, are you going to the concert tonight? <laughs> oh, Jeb here is. He's a, a big fan of DK Brains, Jeb. Well, the music makes me happy. What's wrong with that, Wayne? Ain't nothing wrong with that, Jeb. I like your style, Americans. Very good. You're part of the Reich now. Subject of the Great Führer. I hope for your sake you consider the Reich and all its glorious people your own. Yes, of course, sir. Mm -hmm. Let me give you some free advice. You are witnessing a new dawn for America. You have a choice in this new world, because the time will come when, how do you say, the wheat detaches from the chaff. Have you taken your German lessons? Oh, yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Good. You, how do you say thank you in German? Oh. Of course, sir. Let me see. It's, um... Yes. Dank. Dank. Yes. Out with it. Dank. Dank. My God. <laughs> was that all right? No, that was terrible. You're butchering <laughs> my beautiful language. It's Danke schön, verdammt. Say it. Uh, Danke schön? Incorrect. Danke schön. Danke schön? I've heard enough. No more. I'm so sorry, sir. I'm still practicing. You will practice hard. Oh, I will, sir. I am so sorry. You know, it's kind of heartwarming to see them not getting along. <clears throat> so I want to take a quick look down this alley over here. I mean, we probably shouldn't take too many detours, what with the thing I'm carrying and all. I do. Well, I won't tell you, cause you're oh. a fucking Nazi traitor. Uh huh. But what if I give you a dollar? Trust. All those Nazi scum will die like boom. <laughs> oh, oh, 
This guy's having a tough go of it. Also, he sort of looks like a really down on his luck. Uh, what's the name of the guy? Bill and Ted, who's not Keanu Reeves. Sort of like that. Some kind of gas station. Why is your orange juice... Who the hell made that decision? I, that just ain't right. Listen, I'm not much of a, like, uh... I'm not much of a jingoistic American stereotype or anything here, but orange juice just ought to be orange. That's that's just the way things should be. All right, let's get off the streets. This is making me nervous. Actually, let's go check out the parade. Then let's get off the streets. That's a lot of Nazi stormtroopers marching in that parade. Did you people celebrating your own destruction? What a weird little moment. Hey, what's your story, dude? Nothing? You even trying to sell me a donut or? All right. Papa Joe's All American Diner. My kind of dive. I do love me some diner food. Fast house to hoist galant, Peter. I don't know. Hold your horses. Stuff. Practice your uh, it's German, like important, man. We'll need it. Was denn für Sachen? Oh. Hello there, sir. Please, das have a seat at the counter. I'll be right with you. Man, what'll it be? Oh, We're about to close, unfortunately. Oh, it's to go. We'll be quick. Let's see. Uh, I'll have the... Blazkowicz. Speci knows you're coming to attack the Oberkommando, but he has no idea you bring in a damn atom bomb. You gotta break him the news. Hello. Hmm. Come on, Peter. Let's go someplace else. But mom, we no have any butts. Oh. I hope I have my pistol. Bitte schön. Danke. Well, good day, ma'am. You, one strawberry milkshake, please. Oh, I hope you don't have a fire back there to put out. If so, I'll come back another time. <laughs> I'm sure the fire can wait, coming down. One strawberry milkshake coming right up. Hatchet would probably do the job. I recognize your face. They're nah. Face at this too. Are you at a station one? There you come, up. Oh, vielen Dank. Hmm. <laughs> now you, show me your identification papers, please. Uh, I probably have fake papers, right? Let's, yeah, this will be fine, probably. I bet I have my hatchet. I'll make it fine. I love strawberry milkshake. It's perhaps my favorite American thing. So simple. <laughs> it's just, just a milk smile and ice cream. The rest of the menu, however, I think you will need to address. I think it needs to be more. German. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me. Are you from here, John Smith? Huh? John Smith. They're not even trying. Right out of station six. What is the location of station six? I'm unfamiliar with this station. Speak up. What a moment for somebody to start doing something incredibly loud in the hallway. Hat das nicht Zeit? Trink gerade noch meine Erdbeermilch. Leider nicht, Kommandant. Das Oberkommando verlangt, sie umgehend zu sehen. In Ordnung, ich ich komme schon. Guy really does love his milkshakes. 
Okay, this would be a good moment to draw the... I'm clicking. Where it's done. Okay, Spresh has got it. Yeah, good call. That's... Let me just do that. Not that I, I don't trust you, Blasquist. There's nothing saying you couldn't be wearing a mask made to look like William J. Blasquist to hide your alien space lizard facial traits. So, I made the password that Grace gave you. She didn't give me one. Right. Off with the mask. Show me your lizard face, motherfucker. Super special. Leave your <laughs> weapon before I break your arm and put your lights out. I knew it was you, Terror Billy. I was just fucking with you. Come follow me. <laughs> I kind of love him. It's a good thing. It's a good so, thing Nazis um, never figured out how to move control. stuff to the side. I haven't had much of a chance to clean up around here. I'm, I'm sorry about that. It's um, good stuff. This shit right here. It keeps the signals from getting through. Very effective against alien mind reading devices. How's Grace? Good. Baby Abby. Fine as cream gravy. Christ, I miss her. Even the pissing in the face part, you know. I mean, maybe, maybe I miss that the most. <laughs> Little fucker. <laughs> so what have you been doing down here, Super Special? This place? My papa and me used this place to collect all the evidence we could find of the government cover-up. Cookie? Oh. It's been, been more than a decade now. Uh, summer of 47. I was the same year. I quit working as a lawyer. In the year I joined the Black Revolutionary Front, after I got Grace acquitted from that murder charge that the goddamn FBI pigs trumped up against her. Anyway, one night, Papa heard something on the police frequency, and he brought me up north to Murphy's Ranch, where we found this flying saucer-like thing that crashed into the ground. And wouldn't you know it, the U.S. motherfucking military swooped in and quarantined off the entire purview. Gave us some kind of bullshit story about a weather balloon. <laughs> <laughs> they were lying out of their asses because we made off with some actual hard evidence. Here, take a look at this. Huh? Pulled that baby right out of the crash site. Now, does that look like something that came off a weather balloon? This place is where we kept the records and started surveilling what the military is up to. Papa built most of it. So you reckon what you saw was a spaceship? I'm, I'm not saying it's a flying saucer from outer space, but he was clearly extraterrestrial in origin if you catch my drift it's uh. all fucking connected man if you trace the chain of causation you find yourself in a secret underground facility about 10 clicks east of roswell up by bottomless lakes area 52 our government captured an alien flying saucer and they stored the salvaged bodies and technology in an underground vault everyone was involved the fbi pigs the military pigs even the goddamn king president peg himself check this shit out what? Area 52, Area 51, over here, Area 48, Area 56, all over the Southwest. Nevada, New Mexico. It's one gigantic complex, and it's connected by underground train tunnels. <laughs> look, look, look at the pictures. Plasma guns, mind control, anti-gravity engines. And after our coward-ass government surrendered to the fucking Nazi pigs. Our new masters took over all these bases and they kept doing their own experiments to, to further their own fascist agenda. Look at this. This whole thing is the Area 52 military compound. Up here, it's the, the Nazi head honchos installed the fucking Oberkommando. But down here below, it's a cavernous vault full of all kinds of weird ass technology, alien shit. It's, it's all down there. Now I haven't seen it myself, but it's there. Well, I love weird is, shit it, it, with it, a question it, it, mark. Just, all right, all right, we, nobody knows for sure exactly what kind of technology we're dealing with, but it's most likely space alien based. <laughs> it ain't space aliens. I talk How the fuck seven. do you know? Are you, are, you, are you some kind of expert on all things extraterrestrial now? Look, I've been a lawyer a long fucking time, and I know a motherfucking conspiracy when I see one. No, okay, I'm not saying it's space aliens, right? But it goes without saying it's fucking space aliens. <laughs> So, I got a nuke in this here fire extinguisher. Okay. Cool it. I did not mean to rile you. 
<laughs> Grace told me that you know a way into the Oberkommando. You get me in there, I will use this nuke to blow the top brass of the Nazi leadership to smithereens. Yes! Yes, of course! That sounds so good. I'm here to help. Papa dug these tunnels to the underground train system that connects all the top secret military bases. This tunnel goes right to Area 52 cargo train loading depot. All right. Now, you should put that nuke in uh, this backpack to keep your hands free for shooting. That is important. All right. Lots of Nazis down there. And other things. Now, I'll keep in touch on the radio. Help you out. Hey. Stay frosty, Blaskowitz. Seriously, if the Nazis ever figure out how to move objects three feet to the right or left, we are fucked. Also, that was a very good sequence. Right, let's, uh... Keep going down that tunnel, and you'll end up at the Area 52 cargo train loading depot. Fastest way to Area 52 will be to hitch a ride on one of those cargo trains. Yeah, sure, I'll just steal a cargo train. Why not? That makes perfect sense. I mean, I'm talking trash about this plan, but it's not the most difficult thing that William Blaskowitz has had to do. You still copy? You think they can see I'm fading? Without your wings, I would fall. Jesus. Oh, they got rocket trains now. Well, I might be able to snipe those guys if I'm really, really sharp. Is one of those... Hold on. No, neither one of those is the... The officer. Alright, I'm gonna try to get this guy with the axe. Actually, hold on. What is it that we still need to do? What's important? Okay, so I mastered this thing. Uh, we do still need stealth takedowns. And I like this. Movement, speed, and crouch. That's important. Uh, hatchet kills we also could still use, but honestly, I don't need my hatchet capacity to be much higher. I don't think that's that important. Alright. Let's try to get this guy with a stealth takedown, then. Oh! 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 Oh, I knocked the body up over the thing. Oh, man, I hope that doesn't come back to bite me in the ass. Shoot. It's probably fine. Uh, you know what? I think probably breaking open crates is not silent. That would be my guess. Man, doggy. I don't want there to be dogs. Okay. That, uh, that took a little bit of doing, but I got there eventually. It's just a matter of time until I get caught, so... May as well take advantage of... Whatever advantages we've got. Alright, looks like I can probably drop down here pretty safely. Okay, cap off my armor. I don't know if illumination plays any part in how easily enemies see you. I don't think that this game has terribly developed stealth systems. It's not really what it's about. But we'll, uh, we'll play it safe, try to stick to the shadows anyway, just in case. Boy, it did not take me long at all on this mission to just get completely covered in blood. The thing is, I don't know who can see this guy. Right, there could be people anywhere. Uh, 
Okay, the train's between him and the other side of the platform. I think we got this. Oh. Alright, we're getting close, I think. Man, they're drawing a lot of attention to this dog. Or, potentially worse, we're talking about multiple dogs. But it could just be the best Nazi dog of all time. That wouldn't be great for us either. Okay. A little bit of reaction speed. What is this? General Engel's e-post. They developed email. I guess, when, when did the DARPA project really take off? It was quite a bit earlier than, right, civilian internet access of any kind. Was it in the 60s? This might not be too much of an acceleration of technology, actually. Terror Billy is somehow still on the loose. There never has been a military power of greater might or a better equipped intelligence community, and yet he remains free to terrorize and murder. That this subhuman hasn't been captured is unacceptable to me and to the Fuhrer himself. If it was not clear to everyone, your number one priority is the capture of William J. Blaskowitz. Do not fail me. Do not fail the Fuhrer. They're leaning into the Fuhrer a lot more here. I like. I kind of wonder if we're gonna get to see. It's kind of a natural place for the game to go, right? Like, just keep moving up the power structure. All right. Well, I mean, when we when we hit that. This whole place is going to light up like a Christmas tree, so I guess let's be ready. There's something wrong with Lutz. He's becoming increasingly temper temperamental and strange. A week ago, he started playing loud music in his lab. As it is against the rules, I had to speak with him. It's the only way to have some quiet, he answered, looking all frazzled. He keeps playing his music. Tells me that uh, mescalero ghosts haunt him in his dreams. Today I sat next to him in the cantina for lunch. Under his breath, he repeated chant-like phrases in a language I did not recognize. When I asked about it, he said, Oh, I think it's just a song. I'm concerned his work on the Dot Yehud artifacts is taking a toll on his mental well-being. That is curious. Alright, let's uh, overcharge our health a little bit and then pull this thing. And then maybe not be here anymore? shot all of a sudden. Oh, Jesus. Oh, what the hell is that? Uh. Huh. Maybe I was seeing things. Wow. That's a lot of misses at point blank range. It kind of looked like... Oh, hey, how you doing? It kind of looked like that guy, like... Ooh, free hatchet. Uh, max down hatchets. Like he, I don't know, he moved like the flash, sort of like dash to the side, super fast, all blurry. But it might have just been he moved in a more normal way and I got baffled a little bit by the lighting. Well. I don't see the enemy that, uh, that is causing the music to be all in times like this. From Steve Johnson to Lutz Meyer. Interesting points you bring up, Lutz. Dot Yehud artifacts appear on the surface almost magical, but as we uncover their mysteries, we always found them to be completely technological in nature. Unfolding magic into science is the curse of the scientist. Each passing day, we make our worlds more complex. But if even we struggle to understand this complexity, how was it at all possible to invent these devices in an era perhaps even before the scientific method was conceived? Perhaps that is the greatest mystery. Yeah, I would say that is pretty clearly the greatest mystery. By the way, did you hear about the research center in Austria? The whole building collapsed. Many dead. I heard there's rumors about something wrong with the concrete. I'm just worried because Heinrich was working there. I just spoke to him the other week over the phone. There was a, uh... 
There was a problem with the concrete that the Nazis were using to build their structures. And when I say a problem, I mean we sabotaged it, uh, as I remember. Letters from the American people. Thank you, Germany, sent in by reader Mark Johnson. Before the Liberation War, if someone would have asked me if I could imagine being part of the Greater Reich, I would have said, no siree, Bob. Well, I'll be the first to admit that I was a gosh darn fool back then. Let me explain. Every day I wake up in my comfortable bed here in the American territories, and I think, thank God the Germans came and liberated this country from the moral degeneration that was going on. Truth of the matter is, the white American race was dying because reckless politicians were mistreating their power in this country. What is shameful about being white and being proud of it? Practically everyone says it's been scientifically proven that we're superior to all other races. Well, the shaming days are over, thanks to our new beloved Fuhrer. They have truly taken this country. And the page is torn in half there. Yeah, I mean... I can't imagine if, the, if this really happened that there wouldn't be some people who would be pretty much okay with it. Lutzmeyer's research notes. To do, delegate artifact handling to Wolfgang, schedule appointment with psychologist, document audio hallucinations, tell Wolfgang to move all artifacts from my lab, ask for a transfer, and request more Mescalero reservation workforce for the West Area expansion plans. Yeah, whatever Lutzmeyer is working on, I'm very curious about it. From Commandant Wolfgang Hummel. Boss is freaking out. You guys seen this shipment? We're supposed to relieve a, receive a delivery, 4NG1, out of Romania. An artifact potentially so important, the excavators pissed their pants. Well, it never arrived to the labs. Where the hell is it? The Oberkommando is breathing down my neck. What's Meyer? If you have info, if you have info, let me know. People are under a lot of stress here. Hmm. Okay. A real map? That could be helpful. Well, there's definitely somebody up looking around for us. Damn it. Well, crap. He was talking to somebody, but I have no idea where that somebody is. Oh, well, there's there's a somebody. Okay, rocket engine is on the tracks. Get inside and fire her up, old man. I was trying to do this in the safest way possible, BJ. Also, there were collectibles to get. Okay, my suspicion my suspicion is that this is going to have some uh, consequences. So I think this is where we're going to call it for today. Uh, I hope you guys are still enjoying the series as much as I'm enjoying making it. And of course, come back next time. Uh, we're going deep into the heart of the Oberkommando, and I don't know how we plan to make it out. We'll see you then.